And that breaking news is out of Fairfield tonight where a deadly shooting seen near a high school sends students and families rushing from a football stadium to shelter in place inside the school gym tonight. We had to walk out, hands on our head, um, out to this area here, and I uh, heard we just got released. That shooting off campus left one teenager dead, another in critical condition. Good evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Police called for the lockdown over fears the suspects took off into the campus. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Fairfield with what investigators found. Steve. Live at that initial shooting scene, which is just blocks away from this high school. And tonight, police say they have two suspected gunmen in custody, and one was found on campus where he was apparently trying to blend in. Photos show the frightening scene inside the Armillo High School gym. A crowd following police orders to put their hands on their heads as they sheltered in place after a shooting near the high school. Police say they found one of the two suspects hiding inside this gym in this crowd. I do understand that he was taken into custody without any incident. Families, along with football players at an Armijo High School, Bethel High School football game, were released from the lockdown after police determined all suspects were found. Another suspect was discovered inside a nearby residence. The call to shelter in place came just as the JV football game had started. It was terrifying and scary because everybody had to get off the field and evacuate. Some 500 people crowded inside the gym. Others were sheltered in locker rooms and the school library. Not knowing, we were nervous because we didn't know what was going on. They said maybe the gunman had ran into the campus. So it was just kind of, what do we do now? Definitely concerned. Yeah, concerned for my family. I have my, my two sons here. The shooting near campus left one teen dead and another critically injured. Now two suspects are in custody, including the one found hiding on the high school campus. Friday night football taking a back seat to fear. And now families thankful no one else was hurt. And tonight, police are not releasing any information on the IDs of their suspects. Meantime, the school district says they will have counselors on campus Monday for students and staff. Some adrenaline pumping moments.